Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am sharing with you my candle, my coffee and candles. Not candles and coffee, coffee and candles. If you are a new viewer, feel free to like, subscribe down below. I have all sorts of uploads, Bath and Body Works stuff, candles, Scentsy. So there's a whole bunch going on on my channel. And it's all fragrance related most of the time. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have as much crap next to me because... Um, I did some rearranging yesterday and I am proud to say my entire Bath and Body Works body care collection actually fits in three carts, not counting what I have on my shelf of open things. So I'm pretty happy about that. But I came here to show you part of my candle collection. I've been doing like five or six candles at a time and I grabbed a carton out of my closet. I have three cartons up there with candles in it. I will be brutally honest. I don't remember if I've shown you these ones. I don't think I have. Um, I have a pumpkin cinnamon bun and this is one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. I am going to repurchase it again at some point. I'm sure this year. Notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. First time I burned one of these, I had to go get myself some Cinnabon. So I'm Yes, I'm afraid to burn it because then I'm going to want Cinnabon again. And my husband's going to kick my butt. The next one is another one of my beloved fall candles, and that is a pumpkin spice latte. I believe I have like one or two of these left. So again, I'm going to repurchase this year's. The notes are pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homey whipped cream, sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Absolutely love this. I burn this out almost every single year. There is not a replacement for it. It's just, it's got the coffee, it's got the pumpkin spice. Mmm, it's like chef's kiss. I don't really do that a lot, but I really do like this one. <laughs> Next one is Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night. It does not have the notes on it, but this was from a collection that they put out a couple of years ago. And this one is like a soft ambery, maybe even patchouli scent. I would have to look up the notes to actually tell you, but I do like this one. I did keep a couple of my candles, actually, a couple of the jars. This one is Hocus Pocus 2 Forever Bewitching. Again, it does not have the notes, but I'm pretty excited. You've got apple, caramel, and there's something else in there. I'm just not sure what it is, but I do enjoy these candles from time to time. I was, when I was on my Get Rid of Candles bender, going to get rid of it, but I did not. And then I have Brewed Coffee, which is a coffee candle. It has like that Ray Dunn look to it. This one, I don't know why I haven't burned it. It is a nice coffee scent. I know that there was a coffee one, not Coffee House, but I don't know if it was this one that smelled like burnt coffee. This doesn't smell burnt, but it is very, very rich. So this is another one that I have up there to use during the fall. But I forgot to show you my coffee cup. So today's coffee cup is an Oakland Zoo coffee cup if you guys are from the Bay Area or have been there. Um, not all people, they usually prefer the San Francisco Zoo. We've been to both. I went to both. I grew up in the Bay Area. Um, I got this when I took my daughter when she was, it was either for her fifth birthday or for her sixth birthday. Right after, it was like the day after Christmas and I took her and I got myself a cup. I do try to get cups when I go to places like that if I'm able to. But I really enjoy this cup. I've had it quite a quite a while, either six or seven years. So um, I grew up going to the Oakland Zoo. We have a lot of special memories. We, My dad, when we were kids, knew some of the zookeepers there. I didn't get to, but my sisters got to ride on the elephants. And it was that zookeeper that a while back, I think in the early 2000s, got trampled by one of the elephants. That was the zookeeper that my dad was friends with. So he was kind of upset by that. But you have to keep in mind working with animals, especially ones that were wild or are now in captivity and that large, you can't control what they're always doing. Um, other good memories about that, the time my sister sat on a tortoise and it went into the pond and it just kept going and my dad had to go in the pond after it. Um, I got chased by a peacock. I almost got bit by a emu and um, you know, we went there most of our lives. I remember one time my sisters 
I wasn't eligible for it, but for a field trip, they got to go to Great America. And I think it was an age thing or a grade thing. So my dad that weekend after during the week going with my sisters to Great America and a bunch of other little kids, he took me to the Oakland Zoo, just me and him, things like that. Um, I also frequented the San Francisco Zoo, which I have a sweater for, I believe. I don't think I have a cup and that I might have, no, I might have a cup, but that one, um, I think my, when my daughter was a toddler, she was one, one and a half years old, something like that. Um, she had butted a goat. She ran straight for it and just ran face first into it and didn't care. She also was one of the only children that was gathered around that asked to pet the big icky, whatever kind of snake that was. I don't know because I don't like snakes, but, um, that is kind of the little stories behind that cup, but I did get that about five to seven years ago ish, something like that. But that is it for this video. And I will talk to you later. Bye.